A lot of websites use web fonts, many fonts actually, to improve their visual appearance. When many fonts are in use, they can easily add up to a couple of hundred kilobytes. Yet the control over font loading with CSS can feel a bit rigid. With a font loading API, you can take control over when and how fonts should be loaded. Instead of loading our font with a declaration in CSS, we can now load it programmatically. You can create instances of the font face type for each font that you want to use. You provide a name and a resource description as it is common in CSS. Only when you call load, however, will the browser actually go ahead and fetch the font file and parse it. The promise returned by load will be resolved when the loading and parsing of the font is done. It is imported into the system as a font, but not yet associated with your document. To do that, you need to call add on document.fonts. From here on in, your font will be available under the name you provided to the constructor. These are the most basic and important bits of the font loading API. It seems fairly primitive, but they can be composed to develop complex loading strategies to make your experience much better. Yay, fonts. See you next time. So you know these two buttons, to subscribe to the channel and to watch our latest video. We did some market research, and it turns out the longer you leave them on screen, the more people click it. And that means happy summer. You should click them. Clickety-click-click. Click. -click. click.